Hello, I'm going to teach you how to do a brew guide for a Coleco wave. What you need is a filter, hot water, good coffee, coffee freshly ground, and a cup, and a scale. So what you do first is you pre-soak your filter to get rid of the paper flavor. Preheat your vessel as well. Discard the leftover water into another mason jar. You turn on your scale. Make sure you always zero out your scale. You put your fresh coffee in. Make sure the coffee is nice and flat on the bottom of the filter. Then once again you tear out your scale and I put 21 grams of coffee in here. And so first what you want to slowly start pouring, start the timer. And the fresh coffee you want to get about, give it about 30 seconds to bloom, which allows the coffee to degas itself. And as it degasses, the coffee blooms up. You let the coffee start to drip, you wait, pour it about 60 grams of water. And at about 30 seconds, you go ahead and start the rest of your pour. And for the colita, what you want to do is you want to keep a nice even flow of water through, and you're going to pour continuously every 30 seconds, you're adding about 60 grams of water each time. with the net goal of getting to about 350 grams of coffee. You pour in concentric circles. And right now we are about one minute and we have about 170 grams of coffee. And we'll do another pour. You pour in concentric circles to make sure you get all the coffee grounds sweat by the water. And this is a very fun thing to do when you are at home making your own cup of coffee you to slow your life down a little bit and enjoy your cup of coffee more than the green aprons that you get at Starbucks. And the coffee turns out very well as well. Right now we are at about 2 minutes with about 265 grams of coffee. And the fun thing about this is there's different types of methods to brew coffee with pour over method. You've got the 360 and then you also have uh, the Galita wave and also you have Chemex and some other methods out there as well. And you find the method that is most exciting for you. We've got one more pour to go. And right now, I'm just going to slowly pour until I get to my 350 grams of coffee. And the nice thing about the Kalita Wave is the fact that it has a nice flat bottom so the coffee filters out nice and evenly unlike the V60 where it all kind of comes down on a cone so all the coffee gets soaked unevenly. So what you get is a nice balanced cup.
And today's coffee is from Colombia, from Sher Coffee in Hanley, Massachusetts. And so we get tasting notes of milk chocolate, bluot, and vanilla. This was roasted about a week and a half ago. And so the coffee's almost gone all the way through the filter at this point. So I'm going to start pre-warming my cup of that I'm going to pour my coffee into. So that way it doesn't lose too much heat when I pour the coffee into the cup. And at about four minutes now the coffee is kind of completely through the filter. I'm gonna let this drain out completely on its own. Gonna pour the coffee into the cup. Enjoy. Hmm. 